Hello, this is Ronnie Odom with Navigate Housing. Today's Wednesday Wisdom is on the treatment of state and local training programs for um, Section 8 or Housing Choice Voucher participants as well as public housing tenants and applicants. So in this case, HUD has told us that we're going to exclude the income. And specifically, they say we exclude earnings and benefits. Earnings, of course, have to deal with work. And benefits deal with welfare. The word incremental, that means that we hold them where they are and anything in between where they were, I'm sorry, we hold them where they were before they started working up in this training program. And any money that they made any difference in that, we're going to exclude. Okay? So also, we're going to exclude this in, um, income if that family member is participating in a qualifying state or local training program. And qualifying just simply means that it has clearly defined goals and objectives. Okay, so let me show you an example. This is a sort of a quick way to remember this. And I'll get out of your way in one moment. Before and after. And this line here represents the date they started the training program. Okay, so if before a person had earnings, remember, earnings was one of the definitions. So let's say they were not working. And the other thing it said was benefits welfare. And let's say that they received welfare $400 a month. And that was before the training. Now, after this date, which is another way of saying during the training, okay, because this benefit, this only benefits them while they're in training. So during the training, the work they're getting paid to go to this training, to participate in this training program. So now, for work, they get $600. And for welfare, they get zero. Okay? So you will notice that their income difference is to the positive and it's $200 a month. Now normally, we would count whatever they're making for work. But in this case, we're going to um, count the 600, and then we're going to go back and exclude 200. So when you're filling out the 50058, you actually count on one line the 600, and then on the second line, you're going to exclude 200, and that's going to keep us at $400, so the family does not suffer at all. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this was helpful, and we'll see you next time.